Hello everyone. Welcome to Dr. Rajkumar Academy. So in today's session, we'll be discussing about 6-9-2022 newspaper wise. So guys, as you are aware, yesterday there was case results and most of our students have been successful. They'll be giving you the numbers and all, but we would like to congratulate all those toppers. And let's quickly get into the news case. Rain batters IT parks, arterial roads in the city. This is very, very important, not only from Karnataka point of view, but also from national point of view. One main thing that you want to understand in this is urban floods case. Today, you know, Chennai had floods. Mumbai regularly will be in floods. Bangalore is seeing floods. Why so many floods in urban areas? One of the main reason is infrastructure. In Bangalore, we are aware that most of the ponds or lakes have been captured and they had constructed houses in those areas and illegal sand mining and other aspects had also led to removing of the embankments around the lakes and due to flooding of these lakes in the surrounding areas like you know the water has entered and it has become stagnant this is a regular phenomena in most parts of bangalore and this time, as it has affected directly companies, because like you know, in Electronic City, Marathalli and other places, into the IT sector itself, the water has come. That's the reason why they are going for work from home. But there are some serious issues. It is believed that earlier, whenever there is a rain, at least 40 to 60 percent of the water was going below and was stored in underground. But today, unfortunately, most of the water is present above because of lack of proper sewage facilities. So urban floods, it will be taught to you in the class. But just remember, this year, it will be extremely important for your preparation. Soren trust vote, they can own the it's a politics. Trust wins conservative race to be UK's next prime minister. She beats Indian origin Rishi Sunak for the top post. So there was competition going on, and now it is trust. See, guys, that's the reason why I didn't read all these days. People were spending time unnecessarily in saying that. Like, you know, Rishi Sunak will win. And if he wins, what is going to happen? Like, you know, if she wins, like, you know, how her relationship will be with India. All these aspects. They are all useless until and unless people win elections. And once they win, what they do will be completely different. So that's why never waste your time on such articles which say that like, you know, elections are going on and more details are given on any elections. Not just this any elections for that matter, if you avoid it is better. Pakistan takes back body of infiltrator. See this. One guy came from Jammu Kashmir to like you know uh, Pakistan occupied Kashmir towards India. And when he came from there towards India, what happened? Like you know he was actually caught. <clears throat> and as he was caught, like, you know, we asked him why he came and all and he accepted that he was sent to be a fidayan or suicide attacker within the country. Now, he was caught and he died recently and uh, when we asked Pakistan, Pakistan has accepted the body saying that yes, he belongs to POK, which itself is an indication that Pakistan was behind such infiltration. So normally when someone says like Kasab, when he came to India and when he was caught, 
right and when we asked pakistan pakistan said that he was nowhere associated with pakistan and pakistan still argues that kasab was from india only and like you know he was trying to uh, act within india india is just blaming pakistan for that but for the first time pakistan has agreed that yes the person belongs to them so yes apart from this let's quickly get into the editorial aspect Gorbachev macroeconomics and Gandhi guys you might have heard about Mikhail Gorbachev who passed away recently and it is extremely important for us to study about him in world history or when it comes to your economic geography as well economy as well so guys Mikhail Gorbachev was the one who actually tried to introduce perestroika and glasnas the meaning of perestroika is privatization glasnas is globalization and actually russian economy was not performing well so mikhail gorbachev felt that we should move from what we call as like you know complete socialist economy to mixed economy like india here the author of this article says that even he was part of a meeting which was called by like you know russian leaders how to move from like you know communism or socialism to capitalism or adopt a median path like india unfortunately at that time us economists imf people they sat with russian leaders and told them opening up of economy completely is the only solution and the author calls this as washington model and because of this completely capitalism came and that capitalism slowly destroyed entire russian economy on the other hand china did not take up russian economy or us economy the way it was china tried to slowly bring in certain reforms which will fit in the chinese model and here the author says rather than bringing some western models and implementing in india it is very very important for all of us to build our own model which will fit to our own country and that is the lesson that we have to learn from china is what the author is trying to tell us and then the author also talks about tragedy of commons this tragedy of commons basically means let us take there is a bus and in the bus whose responsibility is it to keep the bus clean it is everyone's responsibility not government's responsibility alone so there are certain common property resources which belongs to everyone and the author of the tardens he say that when we have common property resources people normally feel that it is everyone's responsibility rather than thinking that it is their individual responsibility also to keep the premises clean so let everyone else do rather than me doing it is one of the basic problem of tragedy of commons is what hardens is trying to argue under this and then guys when a public resource is privatized what is going to happen only rich people are going to take those resources 
and private people are not benefited at all that is poor people will not be benefited only rich people will be benefited for example when government says that let us go for privatization of any indian company then it is beneficial only for the rich people and not for the poor people this this is an article which you need to know from a history point of view but what he is trying to tell is not important from exam point of view so don't worry and don't note down anything as well yes a uh, public health need not be led by doctors alone not required funding public education is important guys a few days before india celebrated the 75th year of independence so the person is talking about like you know why it is important for higher education to be funded completely by central and state government and this issue is important because recently the education minister had said that government must not be the sole responsibility in funding higher education or universities in this the author is trying to argue that over a period of time india's investment in education is reducing it is declining right so this is very very important guys i want you to make notes from this the revenue receipts of the union government the revenue receipts of union government went up three times went up three times but but centers expenditure on higher education centers expenditure on higher education dropped from dropped from 0.33% Point three three percent to to point one six percent point one six percent. See guys, uh, when one side we are all trying to say that India is one of the largest economy and we have surpassed UK. On the other hand, people are trying to say, yes, our economy is performing well, but have we used it properly? is what they are trying to talk here guys that fact is more than enough guys two articles are associated with sheikh asina and in the first article sheikh asina is talking to different people she is planning to visit like you know uh, darga is given in the second article it is little bit important where they are talking about tista you write indo bangladesh relations a separate page you take indo bangladesh relations iphon visit of sheikh hasina visit of sheikh hasina iphon river agreements river agreements on on tista tista meghana padma tista meghana padma khowai k h o w a i khowai and kushiara k u s h i y a r a these are all the rivers between india and bangladesh and then guys you write bangladesh is planning to purchase 
Bangladesh is planning to purchase 1160 1160 megawatts of power is remember Bangladesh requires electricity for its textile industries and India is one of the major powerful country which can help Bangladesh with electricity and uh, government has promised Indian government has promised to double export of electricity to Bangladesh long back and the talks are going on is remaining is politics don't worry about these political issues Uh, and guys, this issue is important. Preventive detentions rose in 2021. Just I want you to write the fact. Preventive detentions in 2021, polity guys, saw a rise by over 23.7%. Guys, uh, you can arrest people before they do any mistake so that you are trying to avoid some major conflict that is going to happen in the society. Unfortunately, like you know, it has increased by 23.7% is not actually a good one. Next guys. Center takes serious note of cyber attack on cricketers. See guys, from internal security point of view, you have basics of cyber security. In that, I want you to note, this is a very, very important issue guys. Now, one guy stopped or like you know, he dropped a catch and he was a Punjabi. And in his Wikipedia page, someone has written that he has links with Khalistan movement. And as soon as they wrote it, lot of tweets came and people were blaming each other. So this is how cyber attacks can happen, bullying can happen. And this is how someone can be like, you know, demeaned. And this can also lead to what we call as like, you know, uh, affecting unity and diversity of the country. Home ministry had changed the meaning of the term security. Home ministry says that anything which affects our unity and integrity is also called as a security threat and these type of issues is also security threat to us so just remember that like you know in your notes it must be written how how editing editing wikipedia editing wikipedia led to led to cyber attack yeah. so guys we need not look at the ir much because world uh, they don't have much topics that they are talking about Services PMI flags rebound in August. See guys, August month, August coal output not required. Europe heading for recession. Main reason is cost of living is increasing as Russia is not supplying oil, gas. Fine. So not so important. Banks healthy enough to brave foreign headwinds. So, RBI is trying to say that 
center and rbi is taking steps to ensure that even though world wise outside india if there is any problem we will be able to manage today in us inflation is there in europe inflation is there and in many other parts inflation is there and whenever there is inflation in other parts it may have impact in india as well so india is trying to argue here that banks are healthy enough to like you know uh, protect ourselves so don't worry nothing much is important in that specific article see guys if at all as a student you need to understand that i will spend enough time and explain you those concepts if it is not required then i will tell these issues are not so important don't worry fine i don't want to waste your time i am not a person who believe in reading every line and by heart we have to learn to do smart work and whatever i am teaching to you you will also learn to do by yourself over a period of time so what you can do first try to read newspaper by yourself and try to see how i am dealing with it for some time so that it will help you build how to read newspaper over a period of time as well guys thanks for your patience and uh, congratulations again for those people who have been successful in kpsc exam thank you guys